Good morning and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Nick, this is Sarah, and our two little dogs are in the front of the van chilling out. And we managed to find ourselves a great little park up. So we are back on the road guys. Yes, finally after three and a half months or whatever it was during lockdown where we were forced to go back and live in a house. <laughs> We are back on the road full time and it feels absolutely great. Uh, we've finally left the village and we're in one of our favourite places in Andalusia. Yes, we're at El Choro Lakes, Reservoir Lakes, they're lakes, we'll call Ardelis, them lakes. Ardelis, is it? Ardelis National Park? Ardelis National Park by the Camino del Rey and it's beautiful. Not a bad place to get the van life going again. Yeah, we love this spot. We have been here a couple of times, but not for a couple of years. So we thought this would be like our first kind of get back into the swing of things of van life location. And uh, yeah, it's just amazing. After three months in the house, you kind of get accustomed to living in the house and all the things that come with that. So it takes a bit of getting used. It takes a few days to get back into van life properly. Yeah, it takes a little while to get used to it again, doesn't it? Get used to not being able to just turn the tap on and flush the loo and, you know, shuffling around in our little van. But I mean, it just feels so good to be back in amongst the nature and just be back mm. on the road. So, um, yeah, we're really excited about um, about the future. So guys, this is our second full day here by the lakes. We had a nice relaxed morning yesterday, this lovely little camp spot, just chilling, getting some really nice B-roll, literally B-roll. <laughs> Yes, the birds and the bees. Uh, there's so much nature here. The lovely sounds of the crickets and all of the insects and everything else. It's just so peaceful. We really do love it. Um, yesterday was such a nice morning, completely relaxing. Just, just getting back into the swing of things, getting back into the van life experience. Um, and then yesterday afternoon, we went off in search of them shaded spots that we need to cool down in because it's really quite hot here now in Andalusia, as you can imagine. Um, so we went exploring the lakes in search of somewhere to chill out, have lunch and get on the water. By the time Nick has finished down there, and it's only literally going to take him five minutes with the new litter picker stick that we've bought recently, this will be the absolutely dreamy, perfect location for us to have some lunch and go set boarding. Look at that. Look at that. And it's all to ourselves. But unfortunately, as always, there is a little bit of litter. Um, but there won't be very, very soon. Great little pick up a sticker thing. Look at that, tennis balls. Good for tennis balls, not so good for litre bottles of rum. But yeah, not bad, one bag of rubbish and that's pretty much all that area clear. A few other bits down the cliffs, but I'm not gonna risk my life for it. And the litter picker goes in your yeah. shorts. May not look like much, but it works a treat.
Well, this isn't a bad spot, is it, to have lunch and then go for a swim. Look at the colour of the water and look at the colour of this rice. We're having green rice, spinach rice, and then this is really garlicky smoked tofu and broad beans. Mm. <laughs> Start moving quick, where did you go? Yeah, we had a great day yesterday and now we know where all the nice shady spots are. And more importantly, the best places to take the sup board out on the water. So we've got some random breakfast of rivita, olive oil, tomato, onion and garlic with a little sprinkle of nooch, which is actually really, really lovely. We've got our juices and of course, these beautiful iced coffees. So we're just gonna have these, refresh ourselves. And head back to the lakes. So here we are, look at the colour of that water, it's absolutely beautiful and due to the pandemic it's quite quiet, this place would usually be so much busier, it's the beginning of July now, this would be Ramoed and we've managed to find a nice parking in the shade, this will have shade all day, there's a big restaurant here behind us, um, yeah so we're just going to get the set boards out and we're going to hit that beautiful lake. It's quite hard work pumping up two set boards. Thank God for these two fans. We'll link these in the description, but they're really, really good. All right, five minute break and then we're ready to get out on the water. Yes, sorry about the low light in here, but we definitely need to have a look on Amazon and see if there's an electric plug-in type pump, like the one that you get for a car or a bicycle. Because that is very much hard work for Nick. I didn't do any of it because it's too hard for me. Hey, hey, ready to go on the water? Ready to go on the water? Oh. Don't worry, I'm holding on to him. It's been a while, isn't it, Charlie? Yes, it's been a little while since Charlie has seen any ducks and um, he's actually doing all right. He's not getting too excited, but um, as you know, if you've been following us for a while, you'll know that Charlie is absolutely obsessed with ducks. But anyway, look at this water. It's absolutely divine. Yeah, we forgot our life jackets, but don't worry. You probably noticed the boys are sporting their lovely bright orange safety vests. Hold this a sec. Because we just feel better going out with the boys, especially if we're standing up. Um, and paddling around, uh, you know, it can be a bit unstable when little Dizzy is running around the board. Look at that, one, two, three, four, that'd be good for a nice little barbecue. It's funny as well, I keep thinking there's a drone up in the air because you can just hear this hum and it's the bees, the busy little bees are up in the trees. again <laughs> we take so long to get ready but you know what we're on holiday well kind of
Charlie is way better behaved than Dizzy. Yeah. Butter wouldn't melt. Look at that. Butter wouldn't melt. <laughs> it's about time you had a little sleep on the board. Dizzy, hey there, stay. Diz, stay, stay, stay. Stay, 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 stay. <laughs> you know, I just absolutely love this place. It's just insane. The water is insane. It's beautiful. I've just been in for a swim. You know, you've got one of these, these kayaks, sorry, sup boards or a kayak, and you can just go off and, and go to that side or go to the little islands there is. And I mean, just look. Look how insanely beautiful it is. So we've just come over to this spot because this is a really shady spot. So, oop! So we're just cooling off before we continue. But I mean, I can't get over it. It's just so beautiful. And obviously in the summer, it's a perfect place to, to cool down and enjoy this lovely water. Incoming! Incoming! I'm just gonna drop Dizzy off because he, he's trying to flip me off on purpose. He's running around the board. There you go, me lord. <laughs> These life jackets are really good as well because Dizzy has a Dizzy has a little thing about going to just wander off chasing lizards. So when he's got his bright orange life jacket on, we can see where he is instead of hiding in the shadows. <laughs> Are you gonna get it? You gonna get it? Oh no! Oh, it is. Oh, little cow! Oh, little cow. <laughs> We're in trouble. He means business now. He likes his stick. Oh! oh. oh. Good boy, Dizzy. <laughs> he loves loves his little games, doesn't he? To play, find the pebble next. And this little sweet thing, in amongst all the commotion, would rather just sit peacefully and quiet in the shade, just being his normal little darling self. Hey, Keeping an eye open for all those duckies. These lakes have to be the perfect place to go out on the sup boards. Now, if you've been following the channel, you've seen we've been out a few times and it hasn't always been the best location or the best condition. But this place is just amazing. It's so nice and there's loads of different areas you can go off. You get all the shade from the pine trees and the rock formations and all that sort of thing. It's just beautiful. We love these boards. The dogs love going out on the boards. They seem really relaxed actually. Apart from this one runs around a bit, but they're quite stable. We'll do a review on these boards in the future when we properly tested them out. So guys, we all made it back in one piece to the van um, and where we're parked is a great little spot. We've, we've got these huge pine trees that are giving us shade all day long. Um, there's a restaurant over there with really clean toilets you can use and we just found out we can buy some ice there for a couple of euros. So that means drinks, cold drinks for the rest of the day. So um, yeah, we're just having a cheeky bit of lunch here. Yeah, we're absolutely starving. We didn't realise that we were gone so long. We were having so much fun out there. And we, we came back thinking, oh, it's about half past one. It's actually half past three. So we've been out for like over three hours. That's crazy, isn't it? So anyway, today we're having for lunch. Check out these bad boys. Yeah, we're having jacket potatoes in the Omni oven. We did cheat slightly though. These jacket potatoes, they were baked a couple of days ago before we left and we've just had them with us. So they were just, they're just heating up in the Omni oven because it'd probably take quite a long time a potato that size um, if you did it from, from raw. Anyway, so yes, that's what we're having. And then I don't know what we're doing then. What are we doing, love? I think we're gonna go and find a nice shady spot. Oh no, hold on, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I think we might go out on those sup boards again. Have a little explore, will we? Will See, we? it takes so long to pump them up. <laughs> <laughs> that we feel like we have to go out again, even if it's just for like another half an hour. Look at that little beauty. <laughs> Charlie, you've had yours. 
<laughs> we would sit outside and get our chairs out, but we feel a little bit cheeky as we're sat opposite the restaurant. So we better hide in our van. Not that it matters, but you know. Yes, come back here, come back here. He's not at the front. <laughs> Are you just going to head him off? Okay. I'm going to head him off. Here we go, here we come. Does he know? So what an amazing day we've all had on the sup boards. Pretty much a full day, like five or six hours. So we're all quite tired. The boys are exhausted. I think we're all going to sleep well tonight. Definitely. Um, it's really hot. We've just left where we parked the van to go into the water and come up to this like cliff top with beautiful 360 degree views. We came up here for our evening meal, which Sarah's preparing now. We're hoping just to sit outside the front of the van with the lovely views and have a nice meal watching the sunset but weirdly there's loads and loads of those really annoying flies Which is, up here it's crazy because where we parked up for the last couple of nights i mean there's loads of bees and <laughs> insects and everything but not no annoying flies so we've been able to have the doors open and sit out and things and by the lakes there's no mm. flies or it's been totally fine you come up high to this viewpoint we can't even open the doors good test for the bug nets we've got all of the bug nets up we've got the back door open to let a nice breeze through and that's keeping the little blighters out we were going to sleep up here but i think we'll go back down there yeah i think we'll go back down to our base camp where we spent the last few days but sarah is amazingly made three dishes if you could call them dishes out of a tin of chickpeas i'm astonished wow. every time she makes something well I've used the chickpeas to make homemade hummus and then I've made these flatbreads by mm. using the chickpea juice and some obviously some flour and some other ingredients some anyway other ingredients. and some garlic mayonnaise another personal oh, favourite a new personal favourite another yum favorite. yum tub of garlic mayonnaise also using the, the chickpea um, juice as well so how versatile are chickpeas there and their no, juice there is no waste in this van and check out my rolling pin because <laughs> of course we don't have a rolling pin in the van anything, anyway. anything rolly anything like in a cylindrical shape it works perfectly but anyway i think this vlog's gone on long enough um but don't worry guys this beautiful place we're probably going to show you again because we'll probably be here in the next vlog and maybe the vlog after that because we love it here we don't know if we're going to go anywhere because we need to stay cool by these lakes. Mind mm. you, the temperature is dropping tomorrow, isn't it? It's supposed to be going down to 31 instead of 36. It's actually not too bad in the van now. We've got this awesome little fan on, what we've showed you before. And uh, by the way, everything that we've talked about in today's vlog, so doggy life jackets, this fan, and anything else that we've shown today, we do have links in our video description if you wanted to check out any of these things like Amazon links. But anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this video and um, we'll see you. They might want to see my amazing flatbreads once they're cooked. I'll show you those okay, in a minute. Okay, just hold on a minute. <laughs> they're going to take two minutes. They're supposed to be round as well, but that didn't happen. Oh, Go oh away in there. the gas has gone off. Oh, the gas is van life. Hashtag van life. Okay, you might have to wait till the next vlog. Okay, we'll see you in the next vlog. Hope you enjoyed this one. I forgot to mention we're having lovely garlic mushrooms as well for our supper and we've moved locations we're back to camp with no annoying flies welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new didn't get that out correctly i can't <laughs> speak yet we're actually on day two day three day three now no day two <laughs> day two. All rolling into one already. Yeah. It's only day two. No, third, third day, second. We said two. Blah blah blah. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna crash. <laughs> oh shit! 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 Shit!
Vai, 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 vai,